In this video, we're going to look at your inbox. So the inbox is the communication that you have backwards and forwards with clients. So to get to your inbox, you log into Wix and you scroll down to communications and then inbox. Now, the important thing to remember is that when you're emailing or messaging clients, do it from within Wix. If you email a client from Google Mail, it won't record it in Wix. And equally, when their reply comes back, it won't record it in Wix. So for communicating with clients, your Wix inbox should be your go-to place to communicate. So let's have a play around. So any new conversations, a bit like email, will come up down the side here. And you click on them and we'll, they'll open up. If you want to compose a new message, click up here and then type in the person that you want to send the message to. And it will bring up their history. So anything you've previously sent them, any text messages, emails, anything at all will come up in this list here. And you can scroll up and get a full rundown of everything that's been sent back and forth. Down here, you'll see it says message via. So if we want to send them an email, it's got their email address there. You can change the subject line and you can just then type your email, just like you would in any other system. So this is a test. Down here, you've got an attachment. So you can attach a file to the email, just like you would in any other system. And if you attach that, then it will be saved in this conversation history so you can see that you've sent it and what you've sent. You can add an emoji, you can request payment for something, we'll look at that in invoicing, and you've got one here which is called saved replies, and this can be really handy because if you've got something that you constantly send out to clients, so you send the same message over and over, you can create a saved reply. And you do that by clicking save replies, create saved reply, and We'll call it test saved reply, test message. So if this is the same that you send over and over again, perhaps it's a welcome, your appointment confirmation, whatever it is, when you want to use it, you click on save replies and you click on use this and it will automatically put that text in. You can still edit it and change it, but it gives you a starting point. A common use of this is if people want your bank details to transfer money or they're asking about how to book an appointment. Anything that's standard that you send over and over again, you can do as a save reply. If you don't want to send an email, you click on here and you can send them a text message if they've got a phone number added. So phone number wasn't added for this client, so it gives you the option to add a phone number. So I'm going to add it in now. Let's pop it in here. And you see now that there's a phone number added for that client, you can click on SMS and you can send them a text message, hit send, and it's sent them as a text message. When they reply as a text message to your business number, it will automatically come up in here. And that is your inbox in a nutshell. If you get messages through Facebook, Facebook messages will come through here as well. Really don't advise using WhatsApp business. Try and avoid WhatsApp business at all costs. It doesn't sync properly with Wix. It is being phased out by Facebook who own WhatsApp business. So really, really try not to use and just bring an end to any WhatsApp business accounts you've got. Use your Wix inbox to send customers emails and SMS. And if you've got the mobile app on Wix, you can send them chat messages as well, which we'll cover in a separate video looking at the mobile app and sending chat messages. So that's it for today. That's how to use your inbox.